Hello and welcome to Wilcom's video short series for Embroidery Studio E4.0. Now today um, I'm going to show you a couple of things. One is going to be the Motif Run Advanced and I'm also going to show you the uh, String Stitch. Now, as we get started uh, in order to bring up uh, or one way in order to bring up uh, the Motif uh, Fills is to be able and select the item and to apply that on the screen. Um, to do this, uh, I'm going to navigate down to the bottom and I'm going to uh, click on the motif run and I'm going to navigate up top here also uh, to my digitize open shape or it could be the digitize close shape. Uh, if I choose the uh, close shape, that's going to let me go in on the screen and create an item on the screen like this. I'm going to press enter to close that in and it's going to apply uh, the motif uh, run fill. Now at this point also if I want to go in and edit uh, this uh, fill type here if I navigate over here to the reshape tool or if I press the H key on the keyboard uh, I'm also going to press S to hide the stitches to show you where the uh, uh, penetrations are or the uh, node points here and so if I go in I can as I roll my mouse button forward here I can click and I could uh, actually go in and edit um, this particular object on the screen here. It lets me make it taller. Uh, it lets me uh, skew it just like it would for the regular Wilcom fonts as you go in and click on the pink diamond. Uh, I can make it wider but not taller. This one will let me actually rotate it. So I can go in and I can rotate that on the screen so you can uh, select that go to your reshape tool um, if you click on the pink diamond it will allow you to go in and modify and edit uh, these individually so this is what you can do uh, with the motif pattern uh, here is going in and modifying and editing editing the pattern there and I'll click, click my select tool now if I also want to go in and uh, further uh, advance the editing uh, capabilities here uh, what I'm going to do I'm going to scroll down here to the bottom and I'm going to right click on the motif run which is going to bring up my object properties here for the motif run fill okay and with this uh, it's telling me here that I'm on the motif run fill I have an option I can select the type of uh, motif the set for the motif here and I can do that by clicking the down arrow here it gives me a list of items here to select from. The first one here is the, uh, it's called black work, which is what we have on the screen here. Um, select hit this on the screen. Here it's going to give me that and it's going to change the appearance of the fill type. Okay. The next one is going to be the candle wicking. That's going to look like this. As we scroll further down, you have the children, and it has a little truck here that you can apply that with. It has a cross. It has an embellishment, and this is what the embellishment uh, looks like here. It has a heirloom, and the heirloom here, uh, this is the way it looks. That's the visual home decor here. As I continue down, uh, you have your motif here, which is just a line here that you can go in and you can adjust that by going in and changing uh, the values here for that particular type. Um, this is uh, miscellaneous. You have your nature. As I continue to select, you have a quilting set. You have a satin quilting set. This is what that looks like here. You have single motifs. Uh, you have two part motifs that are combined. And you have lace work. Okay. Now, with each of these, you can go in and you can modify and edit uh, that uh, in your reshape by going in. Uh, here you can adjust the size of the X and Y coordinates here as I select I can click on my arrow pointing upward here 
and it's going to whatever I change that to here uh, it'll go in a bit much here it'll go in and adjust both uh, the X and the Y coordinates to that particular fill type here uh, because we have a lock tab here uh, that's activated uh, keeping everything in proportion okay so as you go in you can adjust either the X or the Y and sometimes it may be a lengthy process as far as getting it exactly like you want it here's the spacing so I click the up arrow here to adjust the spacing I can take that up or down it's pretty wide here at 1.0 okay point five so you can can go in and you can uh, again uh, go in and adjust these uh, to your uh, desire um, here we have a constant size and spacing which lengthens that out and does that spacing there and uh, we have a variable here also that goes from the uh, tallest to the smallest as you can see here and each of these will allow you to go in and uh, and do that for the multi fills here that you see you have what we call also uh, a minimum size here that you can adjust this also if I go in and increase that or decrease that size here it will go in uh, some of them will work uh, better than the other ones based on the shapes that are uh, on screen chord gap here is situated basically um, with the uh, whenever you have a curve or a sharp curve allowing that uh, whatever that distance here is uh, to um, you can cut it off or you can extend it um, for the shorter curves actually and for those shorter curves you're able to go in and uh, reduce the stitch length on those to um, make those look uh, professional Get the gradient size and spacing here you have the gradient the size only that you can adjust that to here and or you can adjust it uh, with the grad gradient spacing only and again here you have the option of going in and selecting the uh, percentage from the original and as you increase that of course it'll take those away as you decrease them it will add more okay uh, here you can keep the first motif that was digitized or you can uh, keep the last motif that was digitized that allows you to go in and adjust those accordingly and keep in mind also you do have the ability inside the program to go in and uh, change these uh, by just right clicking on them scrolling down to convert and you can convert those to any of the uh, items that are not grayed out here uh, on our list Um, that is going to um, also allow us to go in and if we click the arrow here uh, going to the left it's going to give you a list of the uh, designs that we have here that are built into the software and you can go in and you could uh, select any of these based on the set that you've chosen here also and that means that because this is the nature set if I go in and do the candle wicking set I have these options here for the candle wicking set that I can go in and I can adjust these and they look uh, very nice as you can see so if I go in again to the motif set and I choose uh, miscellaneous this is going to be in the miscellaneous palette here basically allow me uh, to go in and adjust these uh, based on the miscellaneous set here okay and so if we go in uh, just allows you to go in of course you can uh, adjust these also by going in uh, and feathering them or just changing them as you see here and these particular items here are the what you display here on the screen as well they have the number uh, underneath them and you can associate those with the number there as well that is going to do it for the advanced motif as far as going in and changing and adjusting your settings for the motif uh, next I want to show you um, it's a different stitch type here as I delete this on the screen um, you have a um, string stitch here with the string stitch uh, this is what it looks like here on the bottom and as I choose my 
two here as far as my outline and I go on the screen and I digitize um, on the screen here now this is a different type of stitch here basically and um, if you can see what happens when I go in, around in a circle you'll see that um, it adds more of these lines basically from a circle standpoint of view now uh, for as far as the appearance of this um, this is what the uh, or how it's going to stitch out for us let me select this delete this and I'm going to run it through the stitch player to show you how it stitches that and this is again it's a different uh, style of stitch uh, that uh, you can use inside the pro inside the program to allow you to uh, achieve different effects uh, basically and this is definitely a uh, different type of run stitch here um, that will allow you to go in and uh, use this for uh, decorative type stitching okay if I want to I'm going to close this out here I'm going to click on the uh, curl draw I'm going to go in and grab a rectangle and we're going to change this to this particular stitch type here to see what it looks like uh, on the screen once it's uh, selected here so and that should give us a interesting view also for this particular type of stitch uh, this uh, type of stitch is more so for decorating uh, type or if you're choosing a special type of uh, appearance uh, at the end uh, with this with the stitch out with this particular stitch here and it is quite interesting and as the corral is about to open here I uh, just want to share with you also that uh, you do have the ability uh, here inside the program to go in and adjust um, all of the items here that that are displayed on the screen for you now um, you can also go in with your properties uh, as the properties open up on the screen here basically you have a little thumbtack here right but to the left of the X and what that allows you to do is with that uh, thumbtack pointed down uh, the properties of that particular item is locked on the screen so it doesn't move uh, to deactivate or to hide it uh, you can click on this little thumbtack here uh, it'll point itself to the left and it'll go in and it'll hide the actual uh, properties um, on the screen if you noticed also uh, sometimes it does take a minute for the Corel draw uh, to, to open up for the first time and just uh, just have to be patient okay here we are and all I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and just grab uh, the rectangle tool here and just draw a rectangle here on the screen and select this here and all I'm going to do here is I'm going to select it here and I'm going to click on the shaping tool here for it it's going to give us the solid square node points and I'm just going to click left click here and just drag this down to create this particular little pattern here and uh, I'm going to uh, convert this over or I could just if I go back to the Wilcom here it'll also uh, send over that uh, vector object here on the screen and I should be able to select uh, the stitch type here for the string stitch and have it uh, stitch it here so this is what it looks like here with this uh, shape on the screen here and again you have your you have your spacing that can be adjusted here again a very different type of stitch here the more I open up the spacing here you see what that effect does here on the screen which will also be applied to the garment and the cord length here basically the wider that is it will go in and create this particular type uh, scenario here that you see on the screen again this is the uh, string stitch this is the string stitch settings in the properties here and um, so if you're going to go in and create a, um, a particular pattern for this you do have the option of navigating down here to the bottom and clicking save to save that uh, to the template also to the normal template um, that when you open up your program uh, everything that's on the screen basically is going to come up from your uh, default template so you can save those here as well and that's going to do it for this uh, particular class on the motif uh, and the uh, string stitch here thank you very much for your time 
And as always, we ask that you join us at www.willcomeamerica.com. Thank you.